Hello guys and girls, welcome to another video. Yes, we have yet another game review and today we have Homebody. So, Homebody is a nostalgic survival horror puzzle game where you can catch up with old friends and try not to get murdered. Um, so the story goes that uh, Emily and her college buddies have gathered at a remote rental house to watch the meteor shower. They try to rekindle the bonds they once had, but lingering emotional wounds and social anxieties leave Emily feeling more alone than ever. When the power suddenly goes out, it's almost a relief, but under the cover of darkness, a mysterious killer picks them off one by one. If Emily can't find a way out, she'll be trapped in this nightmare forever. Evade the killer, solve the house's devious puzzles, and reconnect with your friends. Escape in the house may seem impossible at first, but with each attempt, it puts the pieces together, the bloodstained picture becomes more and more clear. So the first thing that you get hit with is the massive amount of 90s nostalgia. It is fantastic, from the colour schemes uh, to how everything's laid out, the text, how it comes up at the bottom of the screen it is amazing and it's especially for someone like myself uh because i obviously was there for the uh, for the crossover when uh, the playstation first came out going from uh, like mega drive and nintendo and also commodore 64 omega and atari uh, so there's all that blended in with like the uh, the like the late 90s and the early 2000s. Like Resident Evil was the fixed camera positions, and then you had Dino Crisis and Parasite Eve and games like that. It just it's a really really nice mix between the two. Plus it's it's uh, like a modern day because obviously they're talking about mobile phones, and there's a whole scene at the start of the game where there's a mobile phone. So you've got like the modern element mixed with a like a 90s. Um, uh, nostalgia is absolutely beautiful another style that this game does is like uh, there's a game called 12 minutes and uh, basically you walk through the door and you relive the same uh, 12 minutes basically <laughs> over and over again and you've got and uh, you've got to keep solving the mi murder or, or the mystery that's going off in these 12 minutes this is very very similar to that you have a set amount of time uh, so you walk through the house and there's puzzles and there's cables that you've got to follow down the hallways <laughs> And um, and then the lights go out and that's when the killer comes and then the killer stalks you in the dark and you've got to try and run around and you hide in the closet and uh, and then every time he catches you because inevitably you do die. It is rather frustrating right at the start, but then the cutscenes as well, like the first two couple of times that you die, um, it's like, oh, OK, you're dead, you start back. up, But then it starts giving you hints in the time where you die to where it resets there's uh, like a flashback memory and it starts filling in the blanks a little bit plus it also gives you hints on how to solve the puzzles within the house the only niggle that i have and it is a niggle it's it's nitpicky as hell right but it's just the screen presence of the bad guy um it, it just it, like when you first go through it and you see the bad guy for the first time it's like ah is that it? And it, it doesn't, it's not as scary as such, uh, but it's the feeling of being hunted, I suppose. But when, when you actually see the guy that's hunting you, you're like, oh, okay, is that it? Because I was expecting more of like a, like a Jason Voorhees type character, you know, quite for, for formidable Hulk, um, or even like a Michael Myers character, someone, someone that is a little bit more terrifying. Um, yeah, but other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. There's little jingles go off around the house as he's getting closer or getting stalking to you. And uh, when somebody dies, because obviously the house is full of people as well, when when somebody dies, you have like a little noise and you can hear them thud on the floor upstairs and he's like, oh my God, okay, he's getting closer. That is fantastically well done. Don't get me wrong, it's amazing. It's just the overall design of the bad guy just didn't work for me specifically, but because of the game is so good and the puzzles are quite interesting as well, you, you do get over it quite quickly, but that's that's the only thing. Um, so that's it. That's my review. Um, oh, out of five. What we're going to give it out of five? I'm going to give it four because it's a little bit on the expensive side for what it is. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at it right now on Steam. It's £16 something, so I can imagine it's quite expensive on the xbox that's the only thing so i'm going to give it like, like the last one that we did i'm going to give it four out of five character design of the bad guy and the cost other than that you're on the winner so there we go so uh tell me what you think don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i shall see you again soon Ta-da!